API 1169 Pipeline Construction Inspector Training Course Module 2 Body of Knowledge and Exam Tips Area of Examination and Reference Documents In this module, you shall learn about Introduction to API 1169 Inspector Certification Pre-Qualification Area of Examination and Body of Knowledge Our e-learning itinerary and exam tips Introduction to API 1169 Inspector Certification API 1169 Pipeline Construction Inspector Certification is designed to qualify individuals who shall be the eyes and ears of the owner-operator company in the pipeline construction field. So you are representing the owner or operator. Pipeline Inspector should be monitoring and reporting all aspects of a pipeline construction. These are survey, clearing and grading, stockpiling and stringing, field building, bending, ditching and excavation, welding, coating, lowering in, backfilling, catheter protection, hydrostatic testing, cleanup and restoration, as well as be involved with the contract agreement, monitor safety and health, environmental aspect and finally ensure compliance with the project specification. So the inspector is practically representing the owner in the field. For example, example, the inspector has the authority to stop the work when there is imminent danger to people or environment. API 1169 defines the inspector as somebody who is qualified to monitor, assess, evaluate, verify, discuss, decide, resolve, report, and document pipeline construction activities to ensure that the requirements of the design, drawings, specification, regulation, and industry practices are being met safely, efficiently, and in environmentally sound manner. As you can see, the job description covers a long list of topics, HSC, NDE, welding, coating, mechanical inspection, material test reports, storage, and handling, to name a few without the need to have a specialization in any of them whatsoever, but just the general knowledge. If you are already a specialist in any other inspection field, such as welding or coating inspection, you may find it difficult to answer some welding or coating related exam question. This is because exam questions are too simplified from a building inspector point of view or a coating inspector. Therefore, during the exam, don't read too much into question, which happens to be your field of expertise. Most of questions are common sense really, provided you know the ABC of pipeline construction inspection. API 1169 uh, is a, the fastest growing certification among all other uh, dozen of certifications and has a good passing rate of 60% so far. So you can see on these uh, statistics, the number of people, they have been increased like on one month alone over a thousand people attended this exam. API 1169 exam has some peculiarity over other exam. For example, the prime document is not API RP 1169, but the practical guide published jointly by INGA Interstate Natural Gas Association of America and SEPA, Canadian Energy Pipeline Association. And the second thing is API RP 1169 basically explains what is expected from inspector but does not ex explain how. On the other hand, the practical guide has extensive checklists showing what needs to be verified or ticked by the inspector. These areas are categorized by construction phase as well as by topic. API 1104 standard is the governing document for WPS qualification as well as the NDE acceptance criteria. API RP 1110 is exclusively dedicated to the pressure testing of pipeline. ISO 9001 explains the quality management system vocabulary, while API Q1 describes QMS requirements. Although ASME B31.3, pipeline transportation system for liquids, and B31.8, gas transmission and distribution piping system, has been brought as part of the body of knowledge, 
but the API has noted within the body of knowledge that these ASME documents are recommended uh, for general knowledge only and are not required for the exam because all exam related information contained within B31.4 and 31.8 document can also be found in API RP1169 and SEPA INGA practical guide for pipeline construction inspectors. Nevertheless, we have dedicated course module 12 to this ASME course so you may understand where this information brought between API 1169 and INGA are coming from. During the exam, you shall have access to both U.S. and Canadian set of HSC documents, 12 U.S. and 9 Canadian. We have highlighted important information and included them in the course. The search button is disabled during the exam, but the content lists are available. You should have a fair idea where you can find the answer to open book question. Pre-qualification. The exam is three hours long and has 115 questions, of which only 100 are scored, one and a half minute per question. The remaining 15 are called pre-test questions and not scored. Scored, non-scored questions are shuffled and unmarked, so you need to answer all questions. You should have at least three years pipeline experience or four years pipeline non-inspection experience. To pre-qualify, the minimum experience required must be documented and should have been accrued within the last 20 years. Uh, you can see here the inspection experience that they have obviously recently changed it, and only inspection experience that you need to have. And if you have general uh, oil and gas experiences, the number of years for experience changes. Area of examination. Six to seven questions are based on API recommended practice 1169 pipeline construction inspector body of knowledge. 12 to 15 questions shall be from the open book. The rest will be spread according to a dozen documents, across a dozen documents. Nothing completed, located, or cross reference. You just need to know where to find the information. We suggest flagging them off to be answered at the end, the open book part questions, so because this normally takes more time to answer. Most of questions are common sense if you are familiar with various spaces of pipeline construction. We have provided lots of pictures to give you the feel factor. Around 7 to 8 questions shall come from API Q1 and ISO 9000. We have explained the, the quality terms in an easy to understand format and also highlighted the potential exam question. We have also explained the terms uh, in the context of pipeline construction inspection the API Q1 and ISO 9000. API body of knowledge specifies the following topics for exam questions. Pipeline construction inspection, management, knowledge areas, quality assurance, safety, environment, training and qualification, front end construction, survey and staking, line coating, right of way clearing, grading, Installation construction, stringing, bending, welding NDE, trenching, crossings, drills, coating, padding, lowering in, pines, back end construction, battery protection, as bit survey, backfill. Right of way cleanup, restoration, hydrostatic testing, and peaking. Post construction. I study these topics in conjunction with the best practice guide. Effective addition of publications required for API 1169 exams are API 1169, 1110, Spec Q1. Z49.1, Safety in Building, CGA, UNGA, CSS9, Safety Pressure Testing, 1104, Building of Pipelines, B31.4, B31.8. There are also 12 USHSC documents used for open book part of the exam. Click on them to study or download. This includes Occupational Health Safety 1910, 1926 for construction. These two are important. Navigation and navigable water, 
uh, one question might come from here. Chapter 9, Protection of Navigable Waters, Navigate National Oil and Hazardous Substance, Hazardous Material Table, Transportation for Natural and Other Gas, Transportation of Hazardous Liquids, Migratory Bird Permits, Endangered Species, Erosion Control, Wetland and Water Body, our e-learning course itinerary on Module 1, Basic Facts and Study Tips, Module 2, Body of Knowledge and Exam Tips, Module 3, Explanatory Pictures, INGA Definitions, CGA Best Practices, A Practical Guide for Pipeline Construction Inspectors, API 1169, API 1104, ANSI Z49.1, API 1110, INGA CSS9 Pressure Testing, ASME B31.4, B31.8, ISO 9001, API Q1, 12 US HSC documents marked and should be used for open book questions, 7 sets of flashcards, and 6 sets of mock exam to cover the important topics within the body of knowledge. We have brought some exam tips here that you can use easy, no negative marking, multi-choice, never uses API the term none of the above or all of the above, uh, use power of deduction during the uh, answering the doubtful questions, eliminating wrong answer, sometimes wrong answer is quite a valid statement but because it's wrong because it's not relevant so you should differentiate between the relevant and irrelevant answers. You should know enough, have enough experience to answer practical questions. One and a half minute on average to answer each question. So, attempt the open book question at the end, so you're not short of time. But those takes more. Whereas the closed book one probably takes seconds. Careful about relevant and irrelevant information, so read the question carefully. EPA wants to verify your understanding of principles, theory, and interpretation and evaluation, so don't memorize facts and figures. Most questions are rephrased or brought within a context or scenario for this purpose, so that time, so API can know that you understand the concepts, context, and fundamentals. Time management is not normally an issue, and uh, if you use it wisely, please note that using the toilet, checking out in, or want to drink water for whatsoever reason, the clock does not stop. All question carry equal marks, the pass mark is roughly 70%, and uh, on a scale of 400 minimum, 500 maximum to standardize the level of difficulty, they scale it and that's why you receive preliminary pass or preliminary fail or marginal result at the end of the exam. Wrote a lot of pictorials to get you that experience and feel factor. You can also watch a lot of uh, pipeline construction on YouTube and Google it. Answer all questions as there is no negative marking. Thank you.